Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Marco Tempest. I'm a techno-illusionist. I like to blur the lines, the borders between technology and magic, between what's incredibly real and incredibly not. Uh, I'm going to show you some of my magic, but before I start, I'd like to just briefly touch on something which uh, Bruno said earlier, this idea of radical openness, or in magic it would be the sharing of secrets. Now, traditionally magicians are a super introverted bunch of people. We don't share secrets. We don't give away our secrets. But um, if you think as uh, art, or the practice of art as a somewhat like research for humanity, or, or art being, the, in a more lofty way, art being um, um, a thing we should share, like, like scientists sh share their research. So how would a magician then share his research? So about two years ago, I started this exercise in openness and inclusiveness, and I reached out to the open source software community and started collaborating. And very shortly after that, starting to publish some of my research and some of my software. I didn't give away the tricks. What I tried to give away or to extract from my work was the, the useful parts, the things which could help other artists or other magicians start further on in the development process and get faster to the, to the poetry. So what I'm about to show you is uh, one of these uh, results of these explorations into um, openness or into open source magic. So this is how it goes. I rigged up this contraption here, and the idea is basically I'd like to give you a glimpse into the mind of a technology magician when he performs something as simple as a card trick. Just a ready, acquired ring. All right, so we'll be seeing everything I'm doing here. This is live. Hello, TEDx Zurich. Uh, so the trick will go like this. A card, a random card, gets selected. The card then gets signed on the front of the card. Let's put something meaningful on here. All right. So we can recognize it when we see the card again. The card then gets lost in the deck, just like this. Just going to give the cards a quick cut. Now, for those of you who never played cards, in a deck of cards there are four different suits. Hearts, clubs, diamonds, and spades. Watching magic is an active pursuit of what is false and what is true. Well, performing magic is always about these multiple layers of reality combining. Each of the four suits in a deck of cards represents one of the four seasons. There's spring, summer, fall, and winter. My favorite season is winter. Well, mine too. Like magic, winter involves visual wonder, drastic change, and a delicate balance between its physical states. Now, each of the four suits has a total of 13 cards. Each card representing a phase in the 13 lunar cycles. So over here we have a low tide. And then over here we have high tide. And then in the middle, actually, my favorite is the, the moon. <laughs> there are two colors in a deck of cards. There's the color red and the color black, representing the constant change from day to night. Marco, I did not know you could do that. Well, <laughs> in a complete deck of cards, there's a total of 52 cards, representing the 52 weeks of the calendar. All right, let's give it another cut. Let's see what we got next. All the cards are added. The result is 365. 
That's the exact number of births at days we have between our birthdays. And guess what? Today is a very special day. It's the birthday of uh, TEDx Zurich. <laughs> it was actually on my sixth birthday that not far from here in my primary school, I've been given my first deck of cards. And ever since then, I have traveled around the world entertaining boys and girls, men and women, husbands and wives, sometimes even kings and queens. Now, these guys can be real hecklers. Watch out. Hey, wake up. Whoa. Are you ready? Ready. Well, let me show you the God. Presenting my music. Hey, Whoa. watch out. Whoa. But today I'm performing for a different kind of audience. Today I am performing for you. Detector. Well, let's put it uh, over here. Now, sometimes people ask me, to do this kind of work, can you just work from 9 till 5? Of course not. <laughs> Making your old tools is like a 24-7 job. Performing magic takes a lot of practice. 24-7, 7 days a week. But actually, 24-7 is really a little bit of an exaggeration. There are people which would say that magic might be the work of some evil, supernatural forces. Whoa. Well, honestly, to this, I say no, no. Okay, in German, it's 9-9. Nine, nine. It's really not that intense. I have to warn you though, if you ever play with somebody who's so good with cards, don't play for money. Because even if you receive a decent hand, he'll be prepared. And that leaves me with the last and most important card of all. And this is why we're all here today. This is without a question, the real king. Sign card detected. Thank you very much.